That material has been quite, uh, quite expensive. If, if you don't have some money, you, you can't get some certain materials. But this fabric was just lying around, so I started using them to create um, jewelries. From there, I was also doing drawing. From there, I just questioned myself that I could push what I was doing further. So I started using the Ankara to make um, faces. The fabric makes my work unique because it's an, it's an added fire. When you see it, it pulls you in. You have a com there's a common ground between you and the work because it's fabric. It's something that you know you're familiar with. At first, when you look at it, you don't see that it's discarded fabrics. But as soon as you come closer, you see that it's different colors, shapes from different types of discarded fabric that she's using. So that's one thing that stands out for them also. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing how somebody can take waste and create and make, and make something out of it. Sometimes these tailors are likely to just burn them or throw them into the running waters. But because I go there, and they have someone who collects them, so they are also keeping it, and the environment is safe. Instead of throwing them away, I'm repurposing them 